Good morning, good evening, boys and girls. This is Frame Trap Tom doing another FT Lab video for you. Basically, going to explain projectile nullification. So, what projectile nullification is, is it's a type of strike box um, which is overlaid with a projectile box. So, Zangief's headbutt is a good example of this. I can projectile nullify fireballs, but I can only do the one. Now, this is slightly different to armor. Armor allows you to uh, absorb hits. Now Zangief luckily has infinite number of hits on his uh, on his V skill, which is lovely. But if I was to take a recording of, say, some well-known American doing a super, then my V skill would get eaten up right away. No, no, no nullification, no, no hits absorbed, just pure Gohan, Guile hitting you if you can, you know, good old critical art. But, projectile nullification, I have no idea if this will work, so hopefully I get some spacing. Right, let's try it again, one more time. Come on, girl, give me the bacon. I'm just too big, too big, one more time. Okay, the hitbox is too high. Regardless, anyway, uh, moving on. The projectile nullification does work on supers. And uh, we can show that with Nikali in just a second. But the video that uh, Javits sent me was by Haitani. I'll link it. Um, where Haitani was getting through uh, Guile's pressure. Now, uh, there's the standard sort of V-trigger activation. Spam all your sonic booms until you're done for dinner. Um, and he actually got through each and every single hit. Now, there isn't actually, uh, apart from the front side of Nikali for his arms, there isn't actually any strike invulnerability on his body. So, when you do something like uh, a super, I can do five hits, so I absorb one hit. Um, the same happens for his EX, if I go through the strikes. Five hits. Um, so I still get hit. However, if I use... Let's do a new recording, so... Nicely spaced out. Okay, so do a new recording. If we were to go through pressure like this, we might be able to show it off with the normal. Okay, he needs to he needs to recharge. Go for a girl. So you see that one individual hit on each of the each of the strikes, and I avoided a few of them. However, if we go into V trigger mode, he actually absorbs two hits per strike, and he's the only character, to my knowledge, that can do this. So when when Guile is putting on his pressure, Nikali should be able to go through all of them. Try this one more time. It's really strict timing when I saw it with the uh, high tiny video, so we'll give us another shot. Or get hit, that's absolutely fine. Um, but the basic idea is the same. Now, this is different to. Um, to armor, like I was saying earlier, because projectile nullification is a type of strike hurt box overlaid with a projectile hurt box, which is different to hit uh, hit boxes. You can see I've got the outline in green on Nikali. That's the vulnerable part of Nikali, and you've got the projectile in the middle of the screen, which is the orange uh, hurt box. Um, I might be using those interchangeably. Do not quote me on those. Um, but that means that armor doesn't work. But Projectile nullification does, and you can get a few of the strikes out of his uh, super. And you see that it didn't actually hit me, and it, it was overlaying on my my hurt box, but I still got hit. So projectile nullification is not the same as uh, armor or projectile invulnerability. It is directly taking out uh, projectiles from the equation. You can even see there that I managed to get through after it ran through a little bit from full screen. So I'll try that again. Yeah, I managed to get through four hits because my hurt box was just out of the way in time for the second strike. 
but each individual strike of Masked Talali has two hits in EX V Trigger mode uh, of projectile nullification. It has one per hit in EX mode uh, for normal Nikali, no V Trigger, and each of his others only have one individual hit. Now I wonder... Okay, so his other just had the one there. Let's try... That was his heavy. Let's try his medium. No, okay. So all normals, V-Trigger or not, have one strike of uh, projectile nullification. His uh, V-Trigger has two on EX for each individual hit. And that's what happened in the video. Very good timing with Haitani going through the uh, the pressure from Gaal. Perfectly spaced hot sonic booms basically meant that you can get at each individual strike, nullify two of them at a time, and then eventually hit Gaal at the end of it. Uh, don't forget that because it's projectile nullification and it's not a projectile itself, it does mean that even though he has swiped through the projectiles, he's not eliminated his own strike hitbox. So whilst projectile nullification is um, is actually causing the hurtbox to go, you can see I've still got my hurtbox there. Well, let me try that again so it's a little bit clearer. Okay, so I've projectile nullified and I've been hit. But you saw the red flash there was the actual damaging part of the uh, of the strike itself, and that would still have hit Guile. So it's a brilliant way of going through projectiles and still punishing your opponent. And that's basically it. Let me know if you've got any questions. I'll uh, try and include them in comments uh, below so I can write back to you. Uh, subscribe for more videos so that I can basically show you all the quirks of the game. And uh, I'll try and find out more, but that's basically it. Uh, as far as I know, the only person in the game to have individual... Um, multiple projectile uh, nullification on strikes. So, good old Nakali. OP as fuck.